Hello, you're welcome back to this project. So just a recap on what we've done so far. We've created Amazon S3 bucket and we've added some content, our website content. We've added necessary permissions and now users can actually access the website. But that is not the end of it because we actually like the request to pass through these services. All right. So the next service we're going to be creating is Amazon S3, sorry, Amazon Route 53. Yeah. So I'm going to go over to the console and let's get started. So as you can see, I'm in Route 53 already. So to locate this service, all you just have to do is to come to this search bar, type route, sorry, type route, and you will see Route 53 here. Just click on it. All right, awesome. Okay, so we are in Route 53 dashboard. So using Route 53, you can actually register your domain name with it. So your, you can purchase your domain name here instead of going to GoDaddy or Freenom or other uh, domain registrars. And as well, you can use it for availability monitoring and you can as well use it for traffic management. But for this purpose, in our case, we'll be using um, DNS management. So I'll go ahead and click on create hosted zone. Now, what is a hosted zone? Hosted zone actually is, is a container for records. So it tells Route 53 how to respond to DNS queries for a domain. So over here, you'll be typing in the name of your domain, just the way you gave that name as your bucket name. So just use the same domain name here. So don't try to put in www here or HTTPS, just type the name as it is. All right. I'll type in my telling.com. All right. So that is mine. And just um, be careful not to give any extra space. All right. And ensure there's no extra space here. Okay. Just scroll down. It is fine the way it is under public hosted zone so i'll just click on create hosted zone awesome so our zone has been created all right so the next thing we're gonna do is to um go back to your domain registrar wherever you purchase your domain name um take for instance if it has godaddy just go to godaddy so um i'll be opening mine I purchased mine as GoDaddy. So whatever your registrar is, just go over there and locate DNS management. So this is mine and I'll just scroll down. I'll scroll down and look for name servers. All right. So whatever your name or uh, your domain registrar is, just locate DNS management and look for name servers. This is mine. I will just click on it to change name servers because it's actually using is in a default name server. Now they have created, I've clicked on the custom name server. I will just click on enter my own name servers over here. I'll click on it. I will just go back to Route 53. And if you see here, you, you will notice that we actually have NS like name servers here. I'll select it so it can display well. So these are actually the name servers will be adding to the name servers at GoDaddy or whatever yours is. So I'll copy them one after the other. Great. Ensure you don't have, uh, you don't make any mistake here. All right. And once you're done, just click on save. I'll click save. All right. Okay. So it's just showing me, just giving me some warning that changing name server is risky. Yes. I give my consent and I'll click on continue. All right. So you see it will ask you to just hang in there and wait for it to update. 
All right. So that is it for this section. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.